what do you mean by humanitarian engineering and how do you bring that into mobility systems design? Before, we used to build the system, we used to build the transport network for the vehicles. Now it's more user-centric transport system. That way we bring in the human aspect into the transport network design. So humanitarian engineering is a bit a different aspect of it, a different uh, area I would say. So let's first talk about how we bring in the human aspect. Initially, when we used to do transport modeling, what we looked at is how much demand, what is the supply and whether do we have enough supply to meet the demand. When we don't have enough supply to meet the demand, that's when the congestion happens. So how can we deal with that, right? And that was the main concept. Now, not just looking at the number of people using, looking at the behavior of people using as well, right? So we do have uh, different types of users, right? Uh, we, we have women, we have male using the transport network, we do have different age category using the transport network and everybody has their own behavioral aspects as well. How do we integrate that into the transport system? Right. So this is another uh, big area of research where interdisciplinary people come together to contribute towards the uh, transport network system design.